Hey everybody, it's Angie. Welcome back to Center Station. I am battling a head cold today. However, my back is getting a little bit better. I would say my pain level is down to a four, so we're progressing from the 10 that it was a week ago. I am here with John, and he and I just went grocery shopping. So he and I went grocery shopping. That's always an adventure. If you've never been shopping with a two-year-old, you should borrow yourself a two-year-old and go grocery shopping because it is just so much fun. Actually, it really is, but I did get a few things um, that I wasn't intending on getting because he wasn't going to leave the store without them. However, I did get a whole lot and it is Easter weekend and the groceries that I bought are probably gonna last us for the next two weeks. So I thought I would show you what I bought for my family of five at Aldi. If you're interested, I also went to Walmart. I didn't get nearly as much at Walmart as I did as, it, as I did at Aldi, but I will leave the link for you here and also at the end of this video so you can go see what I got at Walmart. One of the things that I picked up that I wasn't intending to were these French bread pizzas because my two-year-old was not leaving without them. I have no idea how they taste. They're probably not the most healthy for you, but I know that his father will appreciate at least one of them. And so here we are, the owners of French bread pizza. I picked up two cans of black beans, two cans of these diced tomatoes with green chilies. The recipe that I'm using calls for both diced tomatoes and green chilies, and I just decided to just buy it mixed together. I've never done that before, but I think it should work out just fine. I got two cans of mandarin oranges. I have never purchased the green enchilada sauce from Aldi before. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's Pueblo Lindo, um, but we are going to have green enchiladas um, this week as one of our meals, and so I decided to give it a try. I picked up a big can of pinto beans, two cans of tomato sauce, and it called for, in one of my recipes, white beans, and so I was, I spent probably, oh, two minutes looking at all the different beans, trying to figure out which beans were the most white, and so then I chose lima beans because they looked the most white to me. So if you know what white beans are, if you can tell me if I did the right thing or not, that'd be great, because I really have no idea. There were northern beans, there were, oh, I don't even remember. Anyway, these kind of have a yellow tinge to them, but they looked the most white to me, so I have no idea. Hopefully it'll work. Got some brown sugar, some all-purpose flour, some of these waffles, and the reason that I bought these frozen waffles is because we're gonna have a fun breakfast one of these next few mornings, and I needed this particular shape, which I can't make with my waffle maker. I have the square kind, um, and so I needed this to be able to do something. We're gonna turn them into butterflies, because we have been learning about butterflies, and so if you cut them just so, then they look like a butterfly, which I probably could have done with the squares, now that I think about it but we have them, so here they are. I got some Kalamata olives. None of us have ever, well, Joe says that he likes them. Um, I've never had them before, and I'm not sure if the kids will like them or not, but we needed them for a recipe. And I do love olives, and I saw them, and so I thought, what the heck? So I got them. I was excited to see that there is natural peanut butter at Aldi. I don't know why I've never noticed this before. I've been eating all natural peanut butter for the last month, and I actually, or I, I accidentally tasted some Jif the other day and I couldn't believe the difference and how much better this tastes without all of the sugar. And so I made sure to look on the back to make sure that there was no added sugar and there's not. It's just organic peanuts and sea salt. And so this was a really great deal, I think, because it was $3.50 at my Aldi and I have been paying upwards of $6 for the same size of peanut butter when I go to Kroger. So I was really excited to see that. I got this less sodium taco seasoning, some frozen corn, some frozen peas. They're not so frozen anymore though. I need to hurry and get those in the freezer. I grabbed two bags of semi-sweet um, chocolate chips. I like the dark chocolate. I grabbed two bags of frozen raspberries, which also need to get in the freezer quickly. We're going to have stuffed peppers 
for a meal sometime this week, and so I grabbed this Italian turkey sausage. I was specifically supposed to get the linked kind, and I was excited to see that they have it at Aldi. I also found turkey bacon, so I picked up a couple of packages of those, and also just some regular bacon. I grabbed some chopped pecans. I was happy to see that mild salsa was back. I prefer medium, but I have children that that's too spicy for, and so I was happy to see that mild was back. I bet you can't guess who wanted those. He was actually eating the corner, where is it? Well, somewhere, he was chewing, he was gnawing at it like a little rabbit trying to get the marshmallows out. But we made it home with the marshmallows all intact. I have no idea what we're going to do with them. Probably they'll just go in our food storage. I grabbed some elbow macaroni and another fun thing that John needed or felt that he needed were these Danimal smoothies. And he actually will drink these and I have kids that will take them to school as well. So we picked up some of those. Two, ba or two boxes of bran flakes. My family really likes them and I do too. And we're not eating cereal quite as much anymore, so um, we just needed two boxes of that. I got some salt, some natural unsweetened applesauce, and also some applesauce, the natural applesauce for them to take for school lunches. I wish that they sold, and maybe they do, and I just wasn't looking. Our Aldi was really crowded today. I would like to get some, some better for you meat, chicken, um, and I know that these frozen bags are not the best for us. You know, they're not the, is it grass fed or whatever it is that chicken is supposed to be. But sometimes cost wins over healthy. And that's what happened in this case. And we'll eat it and it will be fine. We got some chicken breasts here. And then I grabbed some chicken thighs and some more ch frozen chicken breasts. And then I, we're almost out of our cooking spray and I picked up this original first of all and then in a different aisle I found this baking um, cooking spray I'm not really sure what the difference is except this one says that it's made with vegetable oil and this one's made with canola oil so I guess that's the difference and I picked up some olive oil butter was on sale for $2.99 which I have seen better at Aldi but I did pick up some unsalted butter while I was there and we needed Parmesan cheese, so I grabbed some of that. I realized after I got home that we actually have peppers at home. So now, we that's why I, I am happy that we're going to be having the stuffed peppers because I already have some other peppers, uh, but I love to have peppers with hummus, and so we have plenty of peppers. I was talking to somebody while I was picking all of this up and I think I got distracted. But we have four green peppers, a tri-color pepper pack, these small sweet peppers. I really love peppers and so did my so does my family, so that's that's not a big deal. Um, I grabbed some quinoa. I wish that they had different types of quinoa there, but this is the only bag that I can find unless you want to get the boxed kind, kind of like in rice a roni box, that small size. So if you know of more quinoa or a different kind of quinoa. I've, this is the only one I've ever tried and I really like it. In fact, we actually made chicken nuggets with quinoa as the breading for dinner last night. It was really, really good. I was surprised. Um, so if you're interested in me showing you how I made that, please let me know and we will make them sometime in the next week or so for dinner again. It was really easy. Um, so just let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. Got some corn tortillas and two bags of Brussels sprouts. Now, Brussels sprouts were something when I was a kid that I never had and they sounded disgusting. But these are so good. If you cook them just the right way, they taste so good and my children love them. We don't have them very often, but when we do, we really enjoy them. I got some cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, block cheddar cheese. And I'm so thankful to those of you who told me about this laughing cow cheese or all these version of it. I actually never had this, you guys. I don't know what it tastes like or anything, but we're going to have fettuccine Alfredo kind of stuff, only we're going to be using this Laughing Cow cheese for a meal this week. And so I was excited to be able to find it. Now, obviously, I don't need Pepper Jack for that, but I thought I'd pick it up and try it since the original was right there and this was there too. So I got both. You want to know the price of my eggs this week? I purchased six dozen eggs because that's all that I was allowed to buy. 
But eggs were 23 cents a dozen. And with Easter and dying Easter eggs, I thought we would need some of those. And also my family just goes through eggs quite quickly. We do have a couple dozen left over from our last shopping trip, but those will be consumed pretty quickly. And I just found that, um, that it's a, anyway, it's just a great deal. And I'm really happy and grateful that I can get them for 23 cents a dozen. And I wish that I could send you all a dozen eggs for free. That would be wonderful. I got two gallons of 2% milk and they were a dollar three a piece. I picked up some green onions, some celery, baked barbecue chips, sweet potatoes, mozzarella cheese, and back over here are some corn tortilla chips for a snack for this week. So that's what I got my family for the next couple of weeks, probably a week and a half, and then I'll have to stock up a little bit more, although we do have some food storage. I also purchased a few more items at Walmart, like I said, if you're interested in seeing that. But this covers recipes for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner for, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 days. The only thing that I forgot to purchase was ham, which we're going to be having on Easter Sunday. I had it in my cart at Aldi, but the tag had fallen off, and I don't know where it went, and I didn't want to have to hold up the shopping line. So I thought I was gonna remember and get it at Walmart, and then I forgot. So I guess I will have to venture out again tomorrow. I appreciate you watching this haul. Thanks for putting up with my weirdness the last few weeks between my back and now this head cold, you know? It's just one thing after another, but that's okay. I am thankful to have the food that I have and to be able to shop at Aldi where I can save so much money. This total came to $141, and that's pretty good, especially with all of the meat that I got. And this will feed my family, like I said, for a week and a half. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.